Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So today I finally have a review on the Ordinary Foundation. I purchased the Coverage Foundation. I had to get it off their website because I don't think you can get it anywhere else. And the shade that I have is 2.1Y. It's medium and it has yellow undertones. What was really helpful is that they had a picture of the swatches, like all the colours on their website and I found that really helpful but even though that was there I still think I got the wrong shade. They also have like 2.1Y and then 2.1 pink which is like for pink undertones which I think is really good as well. The thing is I thought the shade above this was a bit too dark for my skin tone but we'll see if this will oxidise. I'm hoping it will oxidise, but I don't know. That's something you need to keep in mind, that the colours do appear lighter in real life than what it is in the picture on the website. And this was, like, super affordable. I don't remember how much, but it was definitely, like, around £10 or below. I'm just going to prep my skin first, and the first thing I'm going to use is the Ordinary Alpha Arbutin. I think that's how you say it. Um, this is apparently really good for like pigmentation. But if you use this, you need a SPF because it's got hyaluronic acid. So I'm just gonna and it's actually quite moisturising. It's like a serum. It does say in the front light it's like a serum. I've been using it for well over a week now. Can you guys see that pigmentation there? That has been bugging me. This side's going. Um, and my pigmentation on my mouth is coming back a little bit right here, which sucks. I'm also going to moisturise my skin using the Bobbi Brown Extra Moisturising Balm with SPF 25. This is super moisturising. I'm actually going to work today, so... What a better day to try a new foundation throughout the day. See how it lasts. I always put a bit of eye cream as well. So the foundation says that it has a high coverage creamy foundation that softens undesirable hues. Shake before use, dispense a small amount to the palm and back of your hand. Smooth on and blend throughout the face, ideally outwards from the midpoint of the face. I don't know why I feel like I want to try with my fingers. This is what the foundation looks like. Comes with a really cool pump. It's quite small, um, but you can tell it's a bit. It's going to be a bit light. What am I talking about? I'm actually pretty shocked with myself right now that I chose a good colour. I thought this was going to be ghostly on me. Oh my god. That is like the perfect... That's like my skin colour. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so happy right now. And you know, with just fingers, that applied pretty well. Let's try with a beauty blender, shall we? It feels quite hydrating. Hmm. Let's try with a brush. seems to apply really well with a brush, fingers, sponge. I'm just getting very paranoid about my my pigmentation here, so I'm just going to do a bit of colour correcting. I'm using the MAC Concealer in NC45. Mm. 
I feel like this just covers it straight away. Stupid pigmentation. I'm actually so shocked right now about the color. Guys, this looks very nice. It's not applying cracky or any area. The colour is perfect. I'm so happy about that. So, so far so good. I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just done my makeup and managed to film a little Instagram tutorial. So make sure to follow me on Instagram. I write it on my hair. I do a bunch of extra like little tutorials on there. But anyways, so far the foundation is looking really, really nice. The colour is perfect i'm so happy about that and the only thing is that i'm seeing is that i did set my whole face with translucent powder with the kat von d lucetting powder but i'm wherever i put the max matte concealer it's kind of like going a bit funny so i don't know if that affects affected the foundation like i don't know it's a bit drier in those areas and i always have an issue around my mouth everywhere else especially on my nose and my forehead it looks very very smooth and it looks like skin it doesn't look like a cakey foundation even though it's very full coverage because i think it's got good coverage to it um and you can definitely build upon it it doesn't really have a scent to it um i find that the pump is very convenient and the size of the bottle is very convenient and again i got the shade 2.1 y um i always seem to get questions about the color even though i mentioned it in the video so, so far so good. It's now 8.32 in the morning. I'm going to head off to work and I'll be back later on. It will probably be around 7. So I'll have this foundation on for a very long time. So we'll see how it looks then. Right, it's now 7.30. I'm finally home. Thank you. I've had this on for, I can't even do the math right now, but I've had this for a good while. I think over uh, just about 12 hours. Um, I really put this foundation to the test and to be honest I really like it apart from like here it's separated but I think that's because of the matte concealer because everywhere else like even my smile lines aren't that bad like they're there I've had better foundations that kind of prevent my smile lines but it's not as bad and I can just like tap it away you know but I think the concealer kind of made, made it dry around here it has faded away on my nose a lot actually I feel like there's none left so you definitely need a powder but uh, can you see like how natural it looks it just looks like skin here's just a quick close-up can you see how it's a bit drier but I've been having problems in this area at the moment but my nose it's kind of gone away and everywhere else it looks really nice would I recommend this foundation? I probably will actually. I really like it because I've been really into like light, even though it says it's a full coverage, but you can just take a little bit and go a long way with it and just use it as a tinted moisturizer. I loved how it applied with my fingers. So I think I'll use it more for that. I'll probably rate this foundation a seven out of 10. I really liked it, but the price is amazing. It feels really lightweight doesn't last as long like it does fade and it does crack in some areas but it's still really hydrating I've got really dry skin and I think it did okay like it, it sits really nicely it's like a nice natural foundation even though it says it's a full coverage one but I really like it because I've been into tinted moisturizers lately I just feel like the consistency is really similar and you can't go wrong the price is amazing and the color is perfect I don't know I'm not mad at it that's just all I have to say really I'm not mad at this foundation I've had I've ha I have better ones but this one is nice and I have to try it without the concealer because it did go a bit dry when I applied those areas but everywhere else is fine and the coverage I think is really good anyways that's all I have to say guys I hope you enjoyed this quick review if you have any questions make sure to ask them in the question in the comments below <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video bye